Hello everyone and welcome to At A Glance. This is your host, The Pixel Pirate, delivering previews of the latest and greatest games from the Gamosphere. Today we are looking at a game called ZMR. ZMR is a third person online shooter and is developed by Enmass Entertainment. So as you can see, we are welcomed by our character here. You do create your own character in this game, similar to uh, something like an MMO. So just a nice little touch to, you know, a shooting, shooting style game, not something that you ordinarily see. So as you can see, I get to choose his hair, his uh, beard and everything else about him and just customize the character to something that I would like to see. So within this game, you do have competitive PvP, you also have ranked mode PvP, and also cooperative PvE. PvP is pretty self-explanatory, it is player versus player, you have team death matches and various other game modes that you can play, and you play against each other. Cooperative PvE, on the other hand, is against is um, you uh, and a team of other players against the AI. So we're going to uh, have a look at that first. Now before we get into any gameplay, I wanted to just show you around the uh, ele other elements of the game here. So for example, your locker allows you to have several loadouts of weapons. So I've got, uh, you got a total of four here. Now you can uh, hold a primary and secondary weapon as well as a sidearm and a grenade. In your sidearm you can actually have a handgun or a melee weapon. And then on your secondary and primary of course you've got uh, whatever other weapons that you like. Now on my primary I have a Famous, which is a basically a assault rifle, and then I have a Scar, which is another assault rifle. I could choose to have a very heavy machine gun instead, or any other combination thereof. So you're not really limited to what you can have. Of course, the sidearm is a small small fires weapon, but aside from that, on this primary and secondary, you can have whatever combination of of uh, you know main firearms that you so desire. And of course you've got grenades and then uh, you've got items as well. So they all unlock. You need to visit the stores for some of them. But um, yeah, a lot of them unlocked with gameplay as well. Then you've got uh, gear. So for example, my head and body, I've got a sports shirt here. And then you can, uh, f you can uh, buy more clothes to um, further customize your character there. Then uh, one of the uh, special things about this game is you've got mods, so you can add things to your weapons. For example, on the top you can have a reflex scope or an AR scope uh, if you want to. On the muzzle you can have silencers or a bayonet. And it just uh, really allows you to customise the guns to you know your playstyle, which I think is absolutely fantastic. And of course we have the store, so as I mentioned earlier, you do actually buy stuff. And uh, here's all the uh, weapons that they have so far in the game. Do keep in mind the game is currently in beta, so more things are being added all the time. And then you've got your gear, so all lots of clothes there and stuff like that. You've got male and female. You can actually make female and male characters in this game. Uh, my, my current fellow is in fact a male, as you may, may well have guessed. But uh, yes, yeah, so you can create females and, um, you know, there's a there's a whole bunch of, uh, you know, customized gear that you can uh, make your, your uh, avatar look all that much better for yourself. Then you've got mods, uh, of course, as we went through, you can uh, buy all the mods there. And uh, you've got tech as well. So, for example, this is an adrenaline boost and it uh, makes you very, very strong, for example. And you've got a shrapnel magnet which uh, protects you better and uh, stuff like that. So, yeah, just some uh, cool extra items there. And uh, then you actually got actual items. So you got a VIP access, for example, which allows you to... Uh, it, it gives you various benefits around the game. Uh, you've also got VIP guns and gear as well. So that's uh, something to consider there. Another interesting interesting thing about this game is you got missions here. So you can do missions and gain things. So for example, this one, complete a, a map in assault mode, which is more of a kind of, I guess, achievement based mission. Uh, but you gain uh, uh, genes here. Another one, punch in, punch out here. Rank up 60 minutes of uh, combat time in a single day and that'll give you a silver bullet there. And you got a whole bunch of missions that you can do. I've, I've completed a couple there, mainly the training missions there. 
And uh, yeah, so a uh, very uh, cool little feature there. You can also create corps, uh, which you know uh, m most people will know as clans. So you can create your own or join them as you like, which is really awesome. And then because of that, you got uh, ranked PvP, or not because of, but for, I should say, you got ranked PvP. So you can join a corp and then uh, play other corps in, uh, I guess, more competitive uh, style of uh, gameplay in the ranked PvP matches. And that is all ladder based as well. Okay, so here we are in game with our team. In this particular game type, we are doing wave combat. So lots of, uh, in this uh, game type, zombies will be uh, attacking us. So we're just getting positions here, making sure that we're covering every point. Now, depending on, uh, you know, what you're playing, what, how the server's set up, I guess, you are fighting either zombies or you are fighting robots, hence the name of the game. So, uh, yeah, it's a lot of uh, varied, I guess, uh, enemy types, which is absolutely awesome. Now, you might notice that the uh, enemies are coming to the gaps of uh, the uh, sort of the levels here. And they actually start breaking this uh, stuff down and are able to access you just that bit quicker. So you need to be aware of that and make sure that... Uh, that uh, they don't break it down. Now, you can actually build it back up. Oh, wow, I just uh, accidentally shot my team out there. That's uh, not so ideal. Uh, you can actually build it back up and, um, you know, make sure that they're not going to uh, attack you as quickly. Um, oh, ooh, okay. So we're up to wave three now. All right, looks like our team's doing fairly well as far as covering all the points, which is excellent. Yeah, so you may not have seen it there, but uh, these two people have just boarded up these windows, making it a little bit more difficult for the enemy to get through there. There's, there's a lot of, uh, I guess, uh, little things, just elements of the game that, uh, you know, just add add to the shooting experience. For example, when I reload here, I if I press the button again on that sweet spot, I'll reload very quickly, whereas... If I mess it up, like I will do on purpose there, my gun gets jammed or, you know, something bad happens and it takes a bit longer for the uh, for the gun to reload. Oh boy, these are our, our uh, big dude here that we need to get rid of before everybody dies. Oh, well, all right, here we go. Good uh, team effort there. So as you can see, this is uh, someone who is actually fixing the door up there so that the zombies can't get through it. And of course the zombies will just uh, continue to sort of try and beat those down. So that's, uh, yeah, yeah, the kind of dynamic of the game. As the, uh, the waves continue, you are able to actually access uh, more of the building and therefore more uh, zombies can come and attack you. Oh, got a headshot there. Oh boy. Zombie nurse, nothing worse. Okay, let's change weapons here. You do have a finite, finite amount of ammo, so you need to conserve it and be careful there. That's why aiming is a very a good idea. Alright, he's uh, fixed that up, so that's excellent. So that's just a snapshot of the PvE gameplay uh, for ZMR. So that is about it for today. If you have any comments about the game or you'd like to share your experiences with the game, do feel free to leave a comment. If you want to know more about the game, you can go and visit the Gamepedia wiki in the description below. Thanks everyone for joining us today. This has been your host, The Pixel Pirate, and I will see you next time.